Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning and praise the Lord to everyone. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We shall rejoice in it and be glad. Having a little technical difficulty right out of the gate. I want everybody to know if you get disconnected, if you'll please join the prayer line at 917-900-1022. The access code is 8923928. Once again, good morning to everyone. You're experiencing a little technical difficulty. I'm in a different place and the, um, the internet is not really strong. So if we are disconnected, please join us on the prayer line, 917-900-1022. Access code 8923928. Amen. Good morning, Sister Charlotte. Good morning, Sister Tara Lynn. Good morning, Sister Moss. Good morning, Sister Trina, Sister Giovanna, Sister Cynthia, Sister Magna, Sister Shalanda, Sister Dania, Sister Teresa. Good morning, Sister Elma, Sister Yvette, Sister Kim, Sister Crystal. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Hattie. To those that are on the prayer line, we say good morning to you. Sister Luana, good morning. Sister Robin, good morning. Sister Rudy Ann, Dr. Hampton, good morning. Good morning, Sister Catherine. Sister Ada, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Sister Wanda, Sister Yvette, good morning. Sister Evelyn, good morning. Sister Judith, good morning. Let me say again, because I want to make sure that I don't lose anybody. There is, uh, I'm in a different place and the system is not as strong in uh, my home. So if we get disconnected, I want you to call in on the prayer line, 917-900-1022, 917-900-1022, access code 8923928. Good morning, Sister June, Sister Tanya, Sister Monica. Lady Susan, good morning. Good morning. Sister Coward, good morning. Sister Teresa, Sister Gigi, Sister Betty, Sister Kathleen, Sister Patty, Sister Jan, Sister Deborah. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Wanda, Sister Daphne, Sister Dewana. I want you to begin to position yourselves as you're coming in. Sister Jackie, Sister Judith, Sister Evelyn, Sister Erica, good morning. Sister Kimberly, good morning. I'm glad to see you're up and about or that you're doing better, Sister Benson. Good morning, Sister Clarissa, Sister Lisa, Sister Janelle, Sister Kathleen, good morning. Sister Doris, Sister Nicole, good morning. Good morning, Pastor Stephanie. Good morning, Dr. Sims. Good morning, Sister Aunt Angelica. Good morning, it's good to see you. I wanna thank all of you for joining with other intercessors on this morning. As you're beginning to position yourselves, as you come in, we're positioning our hands and our fingers to war strategically in cyberspace. We are commanding, we are directing, and we are prophesying into our mornings and the mornings of those in cyberspace for positive outcomes based upon the word of God. And we understand the word of God shares with us, it is a promise and we receive that promise that I will make my prayer unto God and he will hear me. The Bible says, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him, that we desired of him. And we decree what the word of the Lord decrees. And that is thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light shall shine upon thy way. I wanna share with you what God has shared with me and impressed upon my spirit before we go into prayer. There's a passage in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter in the book of Matthew, where Jesus is teaching, and Jesus is teaching about the future and what we can expect before his return. 
you may have noticed that there were in particular a couple of main prevailing problems in the church in the New Testament. The prevailing problems that kept coming up in the New Testament were prejudice with false teachers and discouragement, weariness, fatigue, and depression that kept raising their head in the New Testament, in the church, because they were in constant persecution. The church was in persecution from the very beginning. And I declare that even, or I should share that even up to now, the church has still been under persecution, but not under the same kind of persecution that it was in the New Testament. But in the New Testament, understanding that there was physical persecution and the physical persecution at that time was great. There was um, individuals that were being um, uh, destroyed, their bodies destroyed, waiting for them to declare or denounce Jesus Christ. There was a battle. When we look at the New Testament church, there was a battle that was going on um, in high places. Ranking dynasties, ranking leaders were fighting against the church and how they could and how they could not function. They were trying to discourage the followers of Christ, trying to hush them up from spreading the gospel. The battles were not only against those that were in the church, but those in the church had their own personal battles, had their own personal battles that they fought with, that they carried on, pressed through with. If you're reminded in the book of Corinthians, the Bible says, here's what Paul said, for this thing, I sought the Lord, I besought the Lord thrice. I asked the Lord constantly if he would remove this, that it might depart from me. And then what does the Bible say that the Lord said unto him? And that is, my grace is sufficient for thee. My grace is sufficient for thee. So let's go back a little bit. And even before we get to the New Testament church, we hear Job say, and watch this. I want you to watch this, watch this. Job said, for my sighing, cometh before I eat, and my roarings are poured out like waters. He said, for the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me. The very thing that I didn't want to happen, the very thing that I thought would not happen to me. Ooh, I feel that right there, right there, right there. Uh, the very thing that I did not expect to happen to me. The very thing that I did not uh, uh, desire to happen to me, the very thing that I fought and I prayed against happening to me, the very thing that I said I will never go through, Job said, that very thing happened to me. For the thing which I greatly feared has come upon me, and that which he said I was afraid of, it's come unto me. The blood of Jesus. Are you in a position? Huh? Are you in a position that the very thing that you thought could not happen to you? Oh, God is happening to you in the name of Jesus. The 24th chapter. Watch this. The 24th chapter of the book of Matthew. The 24th chapter, especially the verses 4 through 14, have also been associated with the events of the first half of the tribulation and the opening of the seals from the book of Revelation in the sixth chapter. But because it speaks to the, the rising of false prophets, the rising of famine and the rising of wars and rumors of wars, the Bible says the love of many waxed cold. Mm. Are you in a position where because what is going on with you and in your life you didn't expect that now you have begun to withdraw yourself from God. You've began to step away from God. I hear Job also making the statement. He said, um, 
wait a minute, shall God not also, the same God, and I'm paraphrasing, the same God that gave us good things, shall he not also um, give us things that we don't desire, but the fact is that he remains, that he is still there. He is still there. He is still there. But when we get to watch this, we're, we're praying for you, Sister Angelica. We're praying for you. We're praying. We're praying for you, Sister Ballard. When we get to, watch this, when we get to the 13th verse, thank you, Jesus, the 13th verse of the book of Matthew, here's what, it's, here's what it said. When all is said and done, the distinctive mark, watch this, the distinctive mark of the child of God is their ability to endure, their uh, enduring ability. The distinctive mark of the child of God is their fortitude. Uh -huh. The distinctive mark of the child of God is their perseverance. The distinctive mark of the child of God is their remaining. It's their ability to sit down underneath. Uh, underneath the problems, underneath the situations, underneath the pressure, underneath what you didn't expect, you can still sit under and still declare that God is my God. What did the Bible say about Job? The Bible said when it was all said and done, what did Job do? He fell down in worship. He looked where his help cometh from. Ah, he knew that his help, his only help was going to come from God. The distinctive mark of the child of God is their ability to bear up or to hang on, to pull through. This is not, I've come this morning to encourage somebody. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I don't know who it is, but the Lord pressed upon my heart last night. You're going to encourage somebody today in the name of Jesus. And I've come to encourage you before we pray. I've come to encourage you. Oh, God. The Bible declares from the book of Hebrews. And so after he had patiently endured. Uh, that seems like a strange thing to ask in the middle of all of this for somebody to endure and not only endure, but to patiently endure, patiently endure, because the Bible says that after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. What's the promise? Some of we sometimes we can't even understand what is the promise in all of this. What is the promise? The promise is what's on the other side. What has God said to you? Oh God, we understand this. We cannot deny our humanity. We cannot deny our immunity. We will not declare, oh, when we're going through, uh, um, I'm, not, uh, I, I, I'm not going through, I'm just, uh, uh, listen, listen, listen. We can't deny our humanity. Jesus did not deny the feelings of his humanity. But in the midst of hurt, in the midst of aloneness, uh -huh, in the midst of betrayal, in the midst of abuse, in the midst of slander and in the midst of separation, the Bible says he and we have the ability to bring our humanity under subjection to the power and the strength of God. What does the Bible say? For when I am weak in the name of Jesus, then am I strong. Oh, God, your help is here this morning in the name of Jesus. When I am weak, then am I strong? You don't always have to be going through something in your own personal life. But if you look out in the nation and in the world, sometimes we can become weary just looking at what the enemy is doing, what, what, what life is doing to other individuals. And we become a little waning in our strength. But there is the ability, there is the power, and there is the authority within you. To, to bear up 
Mm. The Bible says he will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Oh, oh yeah, I hear somebody. It's hard to keep your mind stayed on God when you're going through some things. But here's the thing. Here's the catch. I hear you, God. Here's the, here's the, here's the thing. And that is that we keep our minds of uh, Fill our minds with God before we get to the difficult thing. Uh, focus in on God before we get to difficult issues. So that when we go through, the word of God is coming back. Because the Bible says that I will bring all things to your remembrance. The word of God comes back up and it speaks to us. Even when there is no one around, the word of God will come back up and speak in your heart and in your mind and declare unto you, this is not your end. Oh, thank you, God. This is not your end. Oh, God. And the peace of God, the Bible says, which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Listen, oh, Mary, Mary wrote a song and that song says, I just can't. I just can't give up now. I've come too far from where I've started from. Say that to yourself. Nobody told me in the name of Jesus. Nobody told me. Ah, here you go. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. And nobody said that it wouldn't happen to me. Oh, God. Ah, nobody said that it wouldn't happen to me. The road would not be easy. But then they said, I don't believe he's brought me this far to leave me. And and then I like that like this verse they said never said never said there wouldn't be trials never said I wouldn't fall never said that everything would go the way I wanted to go but when my back is against the wall in the name of Jesus when my back is against the wall and I feel all hope is gone I'll just lift my head up to the sky and I'll say help me to be strong I don't huh I can't give up now uh, I hear that other song that says I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me oh God he has not brought you this far to leave you I need somebody to put that in the comment box he has not brought you this far to leave you come on declare that with somebody he has not brought you this far to leave you you need to even say that to yourself he has not brought me this far in to leave me he has not brought me this far to leave me me. Help me to be strong. Oh, Paul wrote, but we have this treasure in the name of Jesus. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. The Bible says we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, it seems like a, 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 a juxtaposition. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. In the name of Jesus, the Bible declares, the Lord will not forsake his saints. That's the word of God. The Lord will not forsake his saints. They are preserved forever. The Bible also declares that he is always with us and he never forsakes us. Hebrews says, looking unto Jesus, hey God, hallelujah, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy, say, that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. It says, for consider him. Oh God, consider him that endured 
such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. I want you to understand something, child of God, even to those that may push the replay later. Ah, I want you to understand those that are on the link even right now, those that are on the prayer call, uh, uh, the prayer conference line. I need you to understand something right now. Uh, prayer is your weapon to stay connected to the power to stand. I need somebody to put that in the comment box because somebody needs to hear that on this morning. Somebody needs to be reminded for somebody that is not praying, that is not connected to God. Understand that prayer is your weapon to stay connected to the power to stand. Oh, you have to stay connected to the power before you get to the issue. But even inside of the issue, child of God, you can bear up, you can stand, you can endure in this your season. In this your season, we love to hear about a season where we're prospering and where we're doing great. But there comes a time when we are when we go through seasons of hurt and seasons of pain. But when you pray, you are connected to the power to stand. And I say, in the name of Jesus, come on, let's get ready to pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Ah, oh, the Bible says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Come on, let's offer up thanksgiving and offer up praise. Oh God, we bless your name this morning. God, we give you glory. God, we magnify your great and your matchless name. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people, and shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. God you are great and greatly to be praised. In the name of Jesus we lift your name on high. Power belongeth to you. The authority belongeth to you. God the whole earth belongs to you and you turn it whatsoever you wish. In the name of Jesus and God we magnify your name because not only is the world in your hand but God, we are in your hands in the name of Jesus. And God, for this we give you the glory. For this we give you the honor in the name of Jesus. You are a mighty God. You are a worthy God. Hallelujah. You are the only wise God. God. And for this, God, we give you thanks. Hallelujah. On this morning, God, we rose up. We rose, first of all, to say thank you. Thank you, dear God. Thank you. You allowed us to lay down last night in the name of Jesus. And then you allowed us to get up this morning in our right mind. And God, we give your name the glory. God, we give your name the praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, because brand new mercies we see today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for your long suffering and your patience. Hallelujah. Oh, God. We give your name the glory. Great is your faithfulness unto us in the name of Jesus. You are God and God alone. You are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. Hanasha, what do we mean when we say that? That is God. You know our beginning and you know our ending. And you know everything that's in between. And God, you're going to take us through. In the middle of it all, God, you're holding us up. In the name of Jesus. You're a very present help. Oh God, you're a very present help in the time of trouble. Ah, you are Jehovah Shalom, the God who is our peace. Thank you, dear God. You are our God. And not only are you God the Jehovah Shalom, not only are you God, ah, Jehovah Rofika, but God, you are the one who forgives in the name of Jesus. And God, we come before you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
before we say one more thing, God, we're blessing your name. Blessing your name for forgiving us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And making sure that our petitions have free access unto you. Oh, God, and for this we give your name the praise. Hallelujah. Oh, God, and we thank you. We thank you, dear God, that our prayers have free access right now in the name of Jesus. And God, for this we give your name the praise. For this we give your name the glory. For this we give your name the honor. In the name of Jesus. Oh, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel a praise right there. Yeah, yeah, my son. I hear you. I hear you. Go, Shema. Oh, God is entering into the building. He's entering into your space. In the name of Jesus. Give him glory. Give him glory. Because he's in your space. In the name of Jesus. He's present. Oh, God. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for being our dwelling place. Hey, God. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you for being God Almighty. Our mighty God, Almighty God. Thank you for being our comforter. In the name of Jesus. Oh, right where we are, God. Thank you for being our shield. Hey, yeah, my soul. Thank you for being our strong tower. He Oh God, where the righteous can run in and be safe. Thank you, dear God, for being our hiding place. Oh, oh yes. Thank you for being our shelter in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being God, our refuge. Thank you for being our shade in the name of Jesus. Oh God, hallelujah. Thank you for your support. Thank you, Lord God, for being our strength. Our strength like no other. Reach to me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I need... Hallelujah, somebody to open up your mouth and declare strength of God reach to me right where I am in the midst of my situation, dear God. Hey, God, strength reach to me in the name of Jesus. I may be weak in my physical body. I may be weak, Lord God, in my mind, trying to bear up under this pressure. Oh, God, but strength reach out to me. Strength reach out to me. I feel that God, I hear the Lord declaring, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, he's reaching for you, he's reaching for you, he's reaching for you, in the name of Jesus, thank you dear God, for being our very present help, oh God, Father, you have held us up this far, you have kept us this far, you promised that you would keep us until the end, and God, for this we give your name the glory, Oh God, I hear a word declares, I have been young. Oh God, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken. Before God, hallelujah, not only will God give us the seed, not only will God give us welfare to live, but God will not forsake us at any other time and God we give your name the praise Father when the load that you promised would be no more than we can bear when the load feels unbearable dear God you promised to make a way of escape that we may be able to stand un- up under it in the name of Jesus oh I hear the Lord declaring uh, that he believes in you he believes in the in the power and authority that's within you uh, that you can stand oh God it's not too much for you oh God but you can stand with it father hey, uh, oh God oh bless your name when we charter through territories that we have never been territories that we have never 
never seen, territories that we have never felt before. Oh God, always make us aware of your presence so that we can come out on the other end still attached to you in the name of Jesus. Oh, I hear the Lord declaring to somebody this morning, he did not allow this to make you walk away from him, but he allowed it to show you that you're stronger than what you think. Oh, oh God, you're stronger than what you think. In the name of Jesus, oh God, when we can't take another responsibility, oh God, hey, give us strength to stay until the end. Oh God, when we can't face another trial, another test, not another waiting, dear God, renew our strength in the name of Jesus. Father, when we want to let go, remind us how faithful that you have been to us. Our God, allow us to see God. If you did it before, you can do it again. If you brought us out on the other side before, you will bring us out on the other side again. I hear the Lord declaring to tell somebody to just hold on. Hallelujah. The sun is rising. Oh, God. On the other side, if you just hold on. Oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Father, when I'm in doubt, remind me of every promise that you made. And that you are not a man that you should lie. Neither the son of man that you should repent. If you spoke it, Lord God, you're going to make it good. If you made that promise, dear God, it shall come to pass. And God, for this we give you glory. Oh God, yeah, yes, yes, God. I feel somebody's strength is coming back. In the name of Jesus, I feel somebody's strength is being renewed. I feel somebody's strength is being restored. In the name of Jesus, I feel somebody being lifted. I feel somebody standing up now. In the name of Jesus, open up your mouth and say, I can make it. Remember the power of life and death is in your mouth. Open up your mouth and say, I can make it. I can make it through this. Hey God, I need somebody to put in the comment box to tell somebody later, I can make it through this. Say, hey, oh, yeah, said also keep I can make it through this. Come on, open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth and declare, I can make it through this. This thing is not too hard. Don't say that not one more time because you're not in it by yourself. This thing, hallelujah, this thing I'm going through is with God. And with God all things are possible. Father, oh God, when we need to hear a human ear, when we need to hear a human voice in the name of Jesus. Send somebody to speak positively into our lives, to sow a seed into our lives, a positive seed. Oh God, I ask you this morning. Yes, God, I hear you. I ask you this morning to send an angel. Who yeah, my say? Send an angel to somebody this morning. Oh God, you may not have never seen him before. And, you, and an angel you won't never seen them before didn't know where they came from didn't know how they knew what, was, what you was going through but I ask you this morning dear God to send an angel in the name of Jesus into somebody's life to speak a word to sow a seed in the name of Jesus to lift them up where they are oh God in the name of Jesus Father your word says persecutions, afflictions, which came on to me, and persecutions I endured, but here's the thing, but out of them all, you, Lord, delivered me. Oh God, I need somebody to put that in the comment box. Out of them all, you delivered me. Oh, that's the word of God. Not out of a few of them, but 
out of them all you delivered me yeah 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 yes oh somebody needs to put that in the comment box and open up your mouth and declare out of them all you delivered me you delivered me you delivered me Oh God, I hear the Lord declaring that deliverance is available for you. Oh God, hallelujah. Just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hallelujah. It won't be long now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, not only will it not be long now, I hear you God, I hear you, I hear you. Not only will it not be long now for what we are going through in our personal lives, but I hear the Lord declare to tell somebody that is coming is soon is soon he's soon to return in the name of Jesus oh God hallelujah it won't be long now hallelujah hey God hallelujah Oh God, I hear the Lord declaring to tell somebody to get your house in order in the name of Jesus. Get yourself together. Hallelujah. Some of this is God. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, my soul. Shouldn't say some of this, but God is getting his people ready. Hallelujah. Getting them to get themselves together so we can get out of here in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Hallelujah. Clean up house in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. I'm not talking about the physical house. I'm talking about the spiritual house. Clean up house in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Hang in there and endure. 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 In the name of Jesus, oh God, and spread the Lord on the way. In the name of Jesus, oh Father, hey, we thank you. Hallelujah, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, for letting us know, Lord God. Hallelujah, this I hear the Lord declaring, this too shall pass. Oh God. Somebody put that in the comment box. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. You are wondering how much longer I hear the Lord declaring this too shall pass. This too shall pass. It's going to pass. It's going to pass. It came to pass. Oh, yes, God. It came to pass. It didn't come to stay in the name of Jesus. And Father, for this we give your name the glory. We give your name the glory. Hallelujah. I need somebody to begin to put a praise on that and seal it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your mighty name, Jesus. Bless your mighty name, Jesus. Bless your mighty name, Jesus. Oh, somebody needs to stop right now and give God some praise. Hallelujah. We've been saying other things out of our mouths, but you need to stop. You said, I don't understand. How are we going to going to give God praise in the midst of all of this? Why should I give God praise? I'm going to tell you this, because your praise will go. Hallelujah. Where you cannot go. Oh, your praise is one of your weapons that fights for the victory in the name of Jesus. Don't complain for that thing one more time, but open up your mouth and give God some praise. Oh, let me tell you how I know. Hallelujah. I know that praise works in the name of Jesus. Give God the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear God. Worship your name, dear God. Magnify your name, dear God. Oh, God, and for this we thank you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, now Father, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah to God, oh God, we have prayer requests that are on our hearts, and 
on our minds in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we want to set them at your feet in the name of Jesus. And we ask, dear God, that as we set them at your feet, that you would pick them up. Oh God, and respond to them in the name of Jesus. We already know, God, that you're present. We already know that you're here. We already know, dear God, that you're hearing us. Now, God, we ask you to take these petitions in the name of Jesus. And we're asking you to work a miracle in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, work a miracle of healing. Work a miracle of deliverance. Make a work a miracle, Lord God, of turning things around in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, of healing, God. And with this, God, we give you glory. For this, we give you praise. God, we pray for Jaylene in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I ask you, dear God, to heal her body in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we pray for Monica Allen. Hey, God, for the continual healing of her body. We pray, dear God, for essential workers. We pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, for Darius Smith and family. Oh, God, we need a miracle in the name of Jesus. A miracle is on the way. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we pray for Janiah, who's battling with diabetes and COVID-19, nine years old. Oh, God. Hallelujah. God, you're for the children. Heal her in the name of Jesus. Lift her up. We're praying for the Cannon and Ramos family. Oh, God, we're praying for Clarence K. We're praying, Lord God, for the Ballard, the Golder family. In the name of Jesus, we're praying, Lord God, for Pastor Remus Wright, Lord God. Hallelujah. And Lady Wright, strengthen them in the name of Jesus. We're praying for Overseer Nathan Simmons, for Tony Clonax and family, for the Ballard and Lockhart and Golder family. In the name of Jesus, we're praying, Lord God, for Isabel Grubbs, Edith Clark, and the Carlisle family. In the name of Jesus, for Leela Williams and Janice Brown and Marva Lee. Hallelujah. Oh God, for Jocelyn's kidneys, in the Messiah. Oh God, for Chris and Krishira, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, for the Huggins family. Oh God, for Dolores Thomas, in the name of Jesus. For Sydney Cross, for the Matthews children, in the name of Jesus. For Courtney and her husband, for Gina who's going through surgery. All of those dark God that are getting ready to go through surgery, whether it's today, tomorrow, or the day after. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to give peace to their minds. In the name of Jesus, hold them up, Lord God, in the midst of it all. Give peace to their heart to know, Lord God, that you, in the name of Jesus, will bring them out on the other side. Hallelujah and better health, not with anything they didn't go in with. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray for the Taylor family, the Cole and Bryant family, for pastors and congregations during this pandemic, for Julia Moore, for Shania Moore, for the Proctor family, God, for the Wexel family. We're praying for the Reels family in the name of Jesus. We're praying, Lord God, for brain disorders, for Bishop Reginald Williams Sr. and family. God, we're praying for Unit J72. He am I so Oh, God, we're praying for Show Crier, for Benita Spells, and for Leo Spells. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord God, for Robinette Clark and the cars, Evelyn Wilburn. In the name of Jesus, we are praying for Dylan. Hey, uh, 27 years old. Hey, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, you're a healer. Hallelujah. You're a healer, Lord God. You've done it before, God. There is nothing, Lord God. There is no illness, God, that you cannot heal in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory, 
God, and we declare that it is so. Father, we're praying in the name of Jesus for the president and his family and cabinet. Save in the name of Jesus those that are not saved. Oh, God, we're praying for Brian and Amir. Oh, the Mitchell family and Open Door Christian Ministries. Oh, God, we're praying for Don Cryer, for Robert Cryer, for Kim Cryer. In the name of Jesus, we're praying for Refuge Temple. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, we're praying, Lord God, against the spirit of suicide. Hey, hey, Asa. Oh, God, we're praying for the homeless in the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Ooh, we're praying for Sabrina and Garfield, for the Joseph and Blackwell family. In the name of Jesus, for Candace, Camille, Ashley, Kayla, Courtney, Gabrielle, Alfred the Third, Aaron, Addison, and Cassidy. Oh, God. We're praying, Lord God, for, for repentance. May repentance hit this nation. Hey, God. Not only on the church, may repentance, Lord God, hit those that are outside the ark of safety. In the name of Jesus, and bring them in. Oh, God. Hey, in the name of Jesus, we're praying, Lord God, for Sanaya, for Chris, for Tyon, for Ian, for Antoine, for Noah, and for Graceland. In the name of Jesus, we're praying, Lord God, for Teresa Sanders. He called. You're able to provide along in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we're praying for Herman Gamble. Oh, God, heal in the name of Jesus. For the Clark family. For Shirley and Pam Patterson. For Cheryl and Clifford Thomas. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. For Cynthia and Liz. Hey, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we're praying for the Covenant Worship Center. Hidnashe Bosaya, for Zana and Alvin III and grandchildren. God, we're praying for Pastor and Lady Solomon. In the name of Jesus. For Nathan and Rachel and Ryan and the Wagner Bradley family. In the name of Jesus. For Daniel, Joshua, Alexandria, Hannah, Natasha, Nakoma, Becky, and Kiara. How called for Lakeisha Morton and family for Church Redemption Tabernacle. Hallelujah from New York in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we're praying for souls and for backsliders in the name of Jesus. Oh God, bring them back. You're married to them in the name of Jesus. We're praying for Sister Ruby Warren. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Oh God, we're praying for the Floyd family, for Darnell, for Pastor Thomas Gaines, for Pastor Robert Moore, in the name of Jesus, we're praying, Lord God, for African American males, oh God, unite all intercessors, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we're praying for Jermaine and Gabrielle Mobley, hallelujah, we're praying for Holy Ghost boldness, to do the will of God, in the name of Jesus, for Rose shade. Hallelujah for the COVID-19 patients. Heal God for Evangelist Yvonne Milton. Heal God. Even the prayer requests that are upon the hearts and the minds of those that are on the prayer line. In the name of Jesus, do it God for them. Oh God, let them know Lord God that their voice is heard. Heal them. God, bring dreams to fruition, bring strategies to execute plans, in the name of Jesus, we come against Lord God, all manner of witchcraft and wickedness, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, we pray for Mr. Elliot Graves, oh God, we pray Lord God for Autry family, for Bishop Ira Thompson, oh God, for the healing of fathers, in so yeah, my son. We pray, God, for Glenda Gilchrist, uh, for Sophia Brooks, uh, for Cheryl Rose, uh, and for Jean Thompson in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, for Jarrett Jones. Uh, hallelujah for Rufus and for Bobby, for Todd, Veronica, and family. Uh, oh, God, Lord, turn our hearts from hate uh, and unto you in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, God, keep those that are going back to work. Uh, keep them in a safe place. Uh, cover them. Let your blood cover them in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Oh God, while we're practicing safe practices, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, heal. I am Messiah. Those Lord God that may have attracted or may have received or may have gotten COVID-19, don't even realize God, but you are a healer. And all those Lord God that are on, hallelujah, the, the pages that talk about the children and talk about themselves having COVID-19. God, I ask you to heal them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, for Alpha the Secretary, Aaron, Veronica, and Nicole, for Rodney Fort and Roger Fort. Oh God, for Mother Joseph, for Mother Joyce Wormsley, and God, for all of these, we give your name to praise. God, in the name of Jesus, we pray even for our intercessors. Oh God, thank you, God. Somebody prayed. Somebody prayed for this internet sick connection. Hallelujah. Oh God. And God, for this week, give your name the glory. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare that all prayer requests from our intercessors that have not even been spoken. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, you're able to do it. Hallelujah. And we give you praise. God, while we're praying for those that are experiencing church hurt, I bring them back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for these, Lord God, we declare and decree that it is done in the name of Jesus. And God, for this week, give your name the glory. And we declare that it is so. And God, we close the back door and give your name the praise. For the one of Shanae and Wayne, God, we give you the praise. We give you the praise. God, we give you the praise. Oh, God, for the Hawkins, the Carter, the Claiborne, the Lee, the Hale, and the Askew family. We give you the praise. For Albert Moore, for the Accord, heal in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise. For the Cephas and Jenkins family, we give you the praise. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody declare that it is so. Somebody declare that it is done. Somebody declare that it is done. Hallelujah. Somebody declare that it is done. Somebody declare that it is done. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Aye, Messiah. Ha, God. Oh God, I ask you today, dear God, oh, to go with our intercessors in the name of Jesus, even those that are on their way to work. Oh God, go with them. Oh God, keep them in the name of Jesus. Oh God, may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep your hearts and your mind. Heck. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we give you praise, 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 hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, until we come together tomorrow at 5 a.m., oh God, lift his name up today, open your mouth and give him praise all day, let no negative thing come out of your mouth. He, even when you want to, even when you feel you deserve to, open your mouth and give God a praise. And watch him turn it around faster than our two cents. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, tomorrow at 5 a.m. I say, oh my share. Hallelujah.